A Midsummer Night's Dream Hermia Analysis by Genevieve Tori and Katrina Miller. The scene of the play is set at Theseus's palace, where Hermia attempts to persuade Theseus to allow her to marry Lysander, but her father, Aegeus, wants Hermia to marry this other guy named Demetrius. Theseus presents Hermia with the option to either marry Demetrius die or to become a nun, to which Hermia replies, So I will grow, so live, so die, my lord, ere I will yield my virgin patent up unto his lordship, whose unwished yoke my soul consents not to give sovereignty. In this line, Hermia is essentially, is essentially saying, I would rather live and die as a nun than marry Demetrius. Hermia currently wants permission to marry Lysander. She is thinking, what can I say that will make them give in? In this situation, Hermia feels stubborn, disappointed, persuasive, and sure of herself, and is reacting to her father's refusal to let her marry Lysander, along with Theseus' offer to be a nun, die, or marry Demetrius. She is currently attempting to get Theseus and Aegeus to react in a way where they recognize how serious she is about the topic and for them to give her permission. Hermia says this line with stubbornness, which is consistent with her self-assured subtext. Furthermore, the line has tones of disappointment and bitterness, as she is upset with the verdict. The last line is said with passion due to her enthusiasm when it comes to her love for Lysander. The first word stressed is will. This emphasis is consistent with her subtext as she is 100% willing to grow, live, and die as a nun before she marries Demetrius. When Hermia says, my lord, it has sarcastic undertones displaying her bitterness in Theseus' decision and sarcasm in lordship as she does not recognize Demetrius as a lord. His is emphasized, consistent with her bitterness toward Demetrius. My soul is said passionately, and not is also emphasized, as Hermia is attempting to persuade Theseus, and this emphasis displays her passion. Hermia's body movement consists of her throwing her arms down in exasperation and shaking her head while saying, So I will grow, so live, so die, emphasizing her disappointment in the verdict. She gives a mocking curtsy at the word my lord, as she does not agree with Theseus' use of power. She places her hands on her heart at my, displaying her passion. Hermia rolls her eyes when saying, Lordship, once more emphasizing her bitterness toward Demetrius. She clenches her fists and furrows her brows when saying, My soul, and shakes her head softly when saying, Not. These motions emphasize her passion. Hermia's costume and prop consist of a modest dress and pinned up hair. This choice is to emphasize Hermia's desire to be taken seriously. Her dress is a deep red, highlighting Hermia's passion toward the subject. Her makeup is also light and modest in order to ensure that Theseus sees her request seriously, rather than just young love. In this scene, Hermia and Lysander hatch a plan to go through the forest in order to get married on the other side. Due to some crucial mistakes, Demetrius and Helena follow. Some fairies get involved and it leads to Lysander and Demetrius being charmed into loving Helena, which leads to a brawl between Hermia and Helena. Helena believes this is all a trick and calls Hermia a puppet. Hermia responds by saying, Puppet, why so? I that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between her statures. She hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height, forsooth, she hath prevailed him. Are you grown so high in his esteem because I am so dwarfish and low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak, how low am I? Am I not yet so low, but my nails can reach unto thine eyes? When saying this line, Hermia is essentially saying, Why am I a puppet? I guess that's how the game is played. Now that she has compared her heights, she has enforced hers and stolen Lysander from me because she is so dang tall and I am too short. But I am not too short to mess her up. Hermia currently wants to give back at Helena for stealing Lysander, along with discovering the reason Lysander has left her. She is thinking, What did I do wrong? I bet it's my height. But Helena will eat her words when she finds out I'm tall enough to hurt her. When delivering these lines, Hermia feels first confusion, which leads to insecurity and sadness, before finally turning to anger. She's reacting to Lysander confessing his love to Helena, and Helena calling her a puppet. Hermia first wants to instigate an explanation, but as her monologue progresses, she just wants to fight Helena. In Puppet, why so? Hermia uses a hint of anger, but it is overshadowed by confusion. When saying, I that way goes the game, it is said with realization and exasperation. The realization continues through the, through the middle section, from now I perceive, to high esteem, before turning to dismal and heartbroken and because I am to maple. Finally, speak how low am I is forceful and angry, until I am not yet so low but my nails can reach unto thine eyes is said with aggression. This emotional inflection reflects her subtext as her lack of self-confidence causes her to be insecure and aggressive. The word puppet is emphasized in a shock tone, as Hermia has always been treated fairly well. Perceive and statures and height are all stressed, emphasizing Hermia's confusion. 
personage and tall are emphasized, showing Hermia's insecurity toward her height, along with she, as Hermia is jealous of Helena. So is said sarcastically, displaying Hermia's disbelief in the situation. Dwarfish, Low, and Am are stressed to show Hermia's lack of confidence. Speak and Am are stressed as a command, and yet Nails and I are emphasized as well, all addressing Hermia's aggression. Hermia's eyebrows are knit in confusion when saying, Puppet, why so? and points to herself. This is consistent with her shock at being made fun of as she has lived a very privileged life. She sighs and puts her hand at her side when saying, I, that way goes the game, as she is tired of this forest journey. She squints her eyes and her eyebrows remain knit as her hand gestures move in a thoughtful manner from now I perceive to she hath prevailed him as she puts the pieces of the puzzle together. Her eyes widen when saying tall, emphasizing her insecurity. When saying grown so high, Hermia's posture grows taller. And when saying dwarfish and low, she shrinks down with a sad expression. This also highlights her insecurity. Toward the end of her monologue, Hermia's facial expression becomes aggressive toward her Helena. When saying, am I not yet so low, Hermia lunges toward Helena, arms outstretched. Hermia's props include a lantern, flickering violently, reflecting her loss of her true self. Her costume consists of a wedding gown and half-up curled hair as she had originally gone into the forest with the intent of getting married, but her dress is mildly dirty and some strands of her hair protrude from her head. This displays her aggression and loss of herself. The final scene we selected is post-forest extravaganza, and Demetrius and Helena are in love along with Lysander and Hermia. Theseus has agreed to allow both sets of lovers to marry, leaving the group in a daze. Hermia says, Methinks I see these things with a parted eye, when everything seems double, which is her essentially saying, I think I'm seeing the situation blurred, when I'm seeing everything double. Hermia wants the current situation to stay consistent. She is thinking, life is good and everyone is happy, which is great, but what the heck just happened? She is feeling dazed and vaguely upset that her father is mad, but overall pleased with how everything worked out. She is reacting to the confusion of the situation, and is attempting to instigate an explanation, but overall is just speaking her thoughts in a confused manner. Hermia says these lines with a dazed and confused emotion as she contemplates the night. The words emphasized are these and parted, which emphasize her uncertainty toward her current situation. She also emphasizes everything and double, which highlights her dazedness toward everything that has happened. Her lack of speaking in this section of the play displays her content with the situation. Hermia is linked around Lysander's arm, her mouth agape and eyebrows furrowed in concern and confusion. She is lashed to Lysander because she fears everything is false and that she may lose him again, once more highlighting her insecurity, which is still present. Her agape mouth and furrowed eyebrows reflect her dazedness. Hermia is still wearing her clothing from the wood, however it is now distressed. Her dress is extremely torn and dirty, with leaves stuck to it. Her hair is also a mess, sticking out in multiple places with various leaves and twigs sticking out. Her face has dirt on it, and there are a few scratches from trees that she probably ran into. This ensemble reflects her confusion at the point in the novel. Her props include Lysander, who she is quite literally latched onto, and the lantern from the wood, now the glass broken and the flame completely dwindled, highlighting the loss of her self-assured attitude. It is evident that Hermia has changed from self-assured and confident, to aggressive and insecure, and dazed and still insecure. What Hermia's analysis reveals about human nature is that when love is present, we are confident and full of self-love, but when lacking love, we find ourselves blaming others for our loss and lacking self-confidence. When we regain that love, we find ourselves still unsure if we are deserving of it.